All right, guys, Kazoo71 here. I want to show you guys a quick tutorial, well, as quick as I can make this, on how to remove background from a video. This is as best I can do it. I watched a bunch of videos. I spent over seven hours yesterday trying to watch people, trying to figure out how to do this, and I couldn't find a single video that was helpful. So here's what I'm talking about. Here's a video I just edited. I have it on mute, and so just check this out real quick. Bottom right, you can see I have myself there. I am waving. I got a flare on. We're not going to do the flare. I'm just going to show you guys how to take that out. So let's discuss how to do this. So we are in Hit Films. And then what we're going to do is we are going to open up a new video. So as you can see, I'm going to discard. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up a new one. It's presets. If you're using Hit Film, it's uh, 1920 by 1080. That's just a preset. That's YouTube. So just leave that there. That's perfect. You don't have to change anything on that. So once we have a new one, what I'm going to do is we're going to import a video that I created. And then it is a simple little short video. What I did was I made myself wave in front of the best green thing I could find on Ark Survival Evolved. There's my character. There's some green in the background. This is the best I could do. That's a, um, a glass dino gateway. And then I made it green, but you can see it's got some different variations. So green and blue work. Trust me, don't try this with red or anything else. It will not work. So here's what we're going to do. So we have our video. And then I said, I always set the video in there. Because even though it's set that way, I just I, I feel safer and I've seen things mess up before. So I always dump a video in here so this will be correct. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm going to come up here where it says new. I'm going to hit this new and I'm going to go new composite shot. And in the composite shot, you can name it here. So we're going to call this help video. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the default. The default is 30 seconds here. I don't want 30 seconds. I want four seconds because this video is four seconds long. So we're going to hit OK. And then it's going to make a help video composite shot down here. Now, what I'm saying is the four seconds, if I look at this video, it's only four seconds long, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to come to this composite shot. I'm going to take this same video and I'm going to dump this into the composite shot. And there we go. So now you can see myself waving in a composite shot. So now we need to get rid of that green. So we're going to go up here to effects. All right. And in effects, you can type what you want and you want hue. So I'm going to type hue so you can see what you want is this right here. But let me show you where that's at if you're just looking for it. So the effects for hue in RGP is in the keying section. And there it is, hue RGB. So we're going to take this hue in RGB and we're going to grab it and we're going to drop it in here. Now you could double click it too. It should work. Either one will work. But as you can see right away, it took my face out. And I'll show you why. Is because this is set to red. Like I said, you got to use green or blue. If you watch any of the things on how they make real movies, they do in front of green screens and blue screens, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this color. Now I've seen people say take this and use RGB. Um, RGB does not work. And I'll show you in a second. But I'm going to do hue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here where the color block is and we're going to take this red block and we're going to use the dropper, which is right here. And this dropper will pick a color from the screen and we're going to pick this color about right here, kind of midway. And then we're going to click OK. Now, as you can see, I think I pretty much got almost all of it, actually. Let's see. Uh, we'll see. It looks like I got it all. So what we're going to do here is we're going to save this. So now that I have it all... Um, you can see I got a couple of highlights there that I can't get rid of, which is really crappy because they're the same color and they're highlights. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the media and we're going to go on this help video, which is the, I just made, and we're going to right click this and we are going to go save as, okay. You got to do this save as is how you save a composite shot. And then I'm going to put it in here and we're going to call it help video and we're going to save it. Okay. So now we're good. So now if I come back in here, I'm going to take this other video out. We're going to put a different video in, just any video. I'm going to grab one. And then when I dump this video in here, now you see this other thing. I'm going to take this composite shot that I just made, and I'm going to put this in here. Okay? So now you can see here I am in the video, and I am waving. Right? Now you can also make this bigger. So if you're going to, or smaller or bigger. So if you want to make it smaller, you're going to take this, highlight your video first and your audio, and lock those. And then highlight on this when I make around. So then you can mess with this. Trust me, I use undo so many times, it gets really makes me mad. So if I want to shrink this guy and just put him here. <clears throat> so now when I watch the video, I have a little little me in the bottom left waving. Hi. Okay. 
but that's it guys that's all you got to do so there you go guys that's how you remove a background from a video i hope this was helpful if it was as always please like the video please subscribe if you haven't done so if you got any comments please make them thanks for watching and i'll see you next time